Council has endorsed a resolution put forward by an organization called Board Voice, calling for a province-wide social policy framework. It will set direction for the various organizations across BC that provide social services. The idea of a framework is not a new concept. You. Oh. Aim High is just one local organization that has volunteer board members and as such is a member of the provincial body called the Board Voice Society. A year ago that society began to campaign for a province-wide social policy framework, a guide for developing policies at a provincial level. There's all sorts of different services, not always, and all sorts of ministries that are responsible for those services all trying to do the right thing, trying to get stuff done, but the linkages between them to have an overall plan that we're all kind of heading in the same direction is not there. That group has sought and received support from City Council for a resolution to be discussed at the Union of BC Municipalities Convention in mid-September. Long overdue. I think it's, uh, I mean, I really congratulate uh, uh, Board Voice for bringing this forward. And, uh, and you know, it's, it's, it's reassuring because uh, the resolution will be coming to UBCM in September. Uh, many municipalities have already signed on to the, the resolution, even though the uh, resolution committee of UBCM has already endorsed it. Murray Krauss says Prince George is lucky in that many of the community social service agencies cooperate, which isn't always the case in other communities. And that's one of the reasons why I'm looking forward to the social policy framework is if we have a bit of a strategy, it won't be funding based on competition. It'll be funding based on need and what we might best happen in community. So I think that's one of the challenges with some other communities is, is it's so competitive. And that doesn't always meet the needs of the patient nor the community. Prince George's support brings the number of like-minded communities to more than a dozen, and Don Hemingway says BC would not be breaking new ground with a social policy framework. Some jurisdictions, and the closest one to us is Alberta, have gone through a process of a, a broad community consultation right across the province to talk to people about what were the things that were important to them, what were some of the snags as far as they were concerned in terms of how services were being delivered, so that we could come up with a framework. Hemingway says while there is always time to create an economic plan, that plan will fail unless there's also a social service plan. A healthy economy needs a healthy community. Cheryl Jan, CKPG News.